Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is a quick tutorial on using showcasing and the narrative of your Kumu map to highlight different areas of content. Uh, if you use Kumu to demonstrate very complex systems, it soon gets really hard to focus on one particular narrative because there's so much going on at play. And Kumu has a pretty good function for showcasing stuff. So, for example here, I have some narrative on the side, and if I hover over certain elements within that narrative, it zooms in on certain elements of the, the map and kind of fades out the other parts. And you can have multiple areas to zoom in on uh, depending on what your interest is in. So the way that I do that is through uh, selectors. Uh, Kumu allows you to basically develop uh, a, a certain way of identifying uh, elements within your Kumu systems map. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, you can use selectors in a number of different ways. So for example, if I just wanted to find um, uh, selectors or uh, elements with uh, the element type of outcome, uh, then I could craft a selector uh, that would just look at that. So I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, let's see, highlight unwanted elements, uh, selector, and I can say, hey, I just care about element types equaling outcome. And it looks like this, element type equals outcome. And you can see the Kumu map uh, focuses in on that. Now, if I want to, I can also make other kinds of selectors like I just care about things that are tagged um, CPI or, uh, let's see, social systems. And you can see that I've, for these elements that I've gone in and tagged as a social system, uh, this selector is, is highlighting that. Okay, so far so good. How do I make that happen when I'm zooming in on content or hovering over text on the side here? Um, you can use Markdown. So if I click Edit and I uh, modify the text here using traditional mark Markdown, so I use brackets to illustrate the text that I want to be hyperlinked, and then I use parentheses, and inside those parentheses include equal sign and then the selector I just developed. So in this case, tags equals social systems. If I uh, copy that language and paste it into there, bam, then it will hyperlink uh, and just focus in on that tag that I used. And in this way, you can use Kumu to focus on some uh, very crucial areas of your presentation. Uh, very crucial areas of your system that you're trying to convey. And uh, it makes it much easier when you're in a presentation or just sharing a link to somebody for them to understand the specific area that you're focusing on. Kind of cool. Thought I'd share it. Thanks a lot.